Saturday, May 12th, 2018. I have my appliances coming today. I'm not really ready for them. Uh, <laughs> I don't have the flooring done yet, but we're going to try to get them up the mountain. And I'll store them and finish it up. Beautiful morning. Welcome back to Ray's A-Frame Adventure. Episode The Big 3 -O. You mean 30? Yeah, that's what I said, The Big 3 -O. Why is it the big 3 -o? Well, because we made it 30 episodes, and that's no small feat. So, it's a big feat? Yeah, you know, like Bigfoot. Oh, uh, not Bigfoot well, The delivery men are here with the appliances, and they actually made up the mountain, kind of directed them up, so they were able to get pretty much uh, most of the way, so trying to back up as close as they can. And they used straps to bring in the refrigerator, and so we got that up here. And I've got to put the other appliances here now trying to get up as far as they can after carrying the refrigerator the entire way. They want to be a lot closer. Don't blame them. Uh, the appliances are in, so kind of a milestone marker here. We got them up, and they're here. All right, time to put some of the trim around the windows here on the inside upstairs in the loft. Before we do that, I've got a gap here in uh, this area here, so I'm going to be using this uh, window and door Great stuff filler. You gotta get yourself a window and door versus the big gap filler because I don't have a large gap here. It's got a small gap. And we, if you get the big gap filler, it tries to swell the windows sometimes as it expands. So important thing with this stuff is, is you just don't get it out of your hand. Yuck. And shake it up and then you just start putting it in the crack and, and uh, work your way up. And unlike Ray, you should wear gloves. Well, as you can see, it expands. Thanks. It fills the cracks and it actually expands out quite a bit. Uh, even though this expands less than the big gap filler. But uh, wherever it's really small and tight and I couldn't get the nozzle in there, I'll go ahead and just put a little silicone bead in that. But that's almost, it's, it's so tight. And the sill and then the other wood trim is going to come back here and cover that whole gap anyway. So I'm just going to take my uh, knife here, utility knife, and just kind of go and score along this. Probably need a sharp blade in here. We've got and then I'll just peel it out of the way and then the other wood will come up right against here and it'll cover that whole gap. I'll just put a little bit of silicone and we'll be done. All right, so I've got to cut the casing to go inside here. And unfortunately, it's not quite a uh, one by six. It's a little under that. It's about five and a quarter versus five and a half. So I've got to rip these boards that'll go down into there, which I'm doing. Uh, the only problem I'm having really is the fact that my circular saw, my power circular saw that runs on the generator just is not working for whatever reason. The generator just won't turn it over. I'm not sure what the problem is here. So I'm having to rip this with my portable saw, uh, battery saw, which is okay. It's just slow. And then this wants to get hot every so often. So I can only go a few inches and uh, then it wants to uh, just quit on me. So I have to let it cool off a second and then start again, cool off a second and then switch out the batteries. So it's kind of a pain, but it does work. So I'm just taking my time to get it done. I should mention this is a job that's normally best suited for a table saw, which I don't have here currently. Uh, but I'm getting pretty good at ripping this pretty straight. They've made guides and stuff that you can use and slide the saw against it uh, and all that. But at the end of the day, if I'm just careful, I can cut it pretty straight. And this edge here actually goes to the back side of the window area. So it goes up against the window jam there. And so with a little bead of silicone, you'll never know that it's not, even if it's not an absolute perfect cut. Oh, I'll know. Uh, it looks really, really good. Okay, Mr. Perfection. I know it might be hard to see here with the lighting, uh, but I've got the frame done on the outside here in the trim. And went with a little bit larger header board across the top. Gives it a little bit of weight up there and I like it. Me too. Kind of matches some of the heaviness that I've got going on in the corner here. And so that's a one by six at the top and one by four on the sides. And what I'm gonna do now is uh, I'm actually gonna cut some tile, a long piece of tile that's gonna go, just one piece, a long, a long piece here, it's gonna go in here as a windowsill. And that'll sit inside the trim here of the wood at the same flush elevation. That way you open the window, you get some moisture and stuff in there, you know, it's not on your wood trim. And I don't care what you do, you just leave the windows open a little bit, you get moisture in there, it's a pain that I have to wipe off. So the tile surface here, it'll kind of look like stone, will be able to be wiped off nice and easy uh, without having disturbing any wood. Well guys, we're here this morning. It's a heck of a job trying to get up the driveway here, but uh, getting ready to get started. Big day here, get a close. What? 
We can't hear you. I was saying that each piece of casing has to be welded together as they lower the pipe in. They will have to come make a dent for me this morning with the excavator so that the runoff of the slurry had a place to go without washing out the driveway. Well, there's no water yet. He's down about 400 and something feet. He's actually hit water, uh, but they had a problem with the equipment, so they had to go into town and get some stuff. So that's going to be a deep well, about 460 feet up there. hit water. We're not the top there. We got a pump going on it at 460 something feet. Uh, it's coming out dirty, of course. They're going to pump it for a while, see if it clears up. If it doesn't clear up, they'll go deeper, but they're hoping after a few days it'll actually clear out. Good morning, beautiful morning out. Lots of rain last night, and I heard some noise outside last night. And I was wondering, what the heck? What the? Aha, uh -huh. I thought so. Bigfoot, I knew it. Into my granola bars. I told you it was real. I did that myself. The cover up begins. All right, back up to the ceiling in the bedroom here, and we are in the process of caulking the joints here from the ceiling and the wall, and then around the logs themselves. And uh, I've got some of this caulk. It's a latex silicone caulk 40 year and it's actually clear but it's paintable once it dries out after a few days it turns clear it shows up white now and then it turns clear and the reason I'm doing that that way if any gets on some of the wood here it'll remain clear and then I'll just paint up to the edge and cover it uh, and that way like I said if I get the residue on the wood it'll show up as clear and you won't see it at all. Oh, smart. I think that makes sense. And uh, spray foam was behind there. I kind of sawed that back and grinded it back a little bit, chewed it off, sanded it, whatever, cleaned it up, got it back far enough, and I'm going to spread out this caulk nice and even over the top of it and just fill in that gap. And then again, paint right up to the edge of the wood. I'm smoothing it out with a little putty knife wherever I can reach it after I put the bead of caulk in there. And then just got a paint stick. I've just kind of cut the edge down small so I can get up there in the corners and stuff. Uh, real tight and then once I've done that then I'll take a uh, sponge and just kind of slightly sponge off any excess and should leave it pretty smooth. So in the bedroom on the other side of the wall where it's wood on wood uh, I've decided to kind of go with a chinking look as if it's a uh, chink log and so I've got some almond caulk I know it looks a little white right now I just put it on it'll probably darken up slightly and that way it'll be a little bit darker on Good this side. cloudy May 28th morning. Uh, don't know if I talked about this before, but I think I have. But I've got to shave off just a little bit of this edge so this fits, this trim fits inside the window as it goes around inside the casing here. And so what I've done is just marked off a quarter inch off of here. And then instead of, instead of chalking a line, which I was doing uh, here, I'm gonna try to hold this here as I, with my foot here as I do this. But uh, just coming up here and marking this, and then holding your finger against the wood here and then just kind of going like that and keeping it even as it travels along. And that'll give you a nice straight edge along there without having to chalk the line or get a long ruler. May 29th and get ready to put primer on the wall. Gonna do the cutting with the brush first around the uh, corners and where I can't reach with the roller. And I went ahead and masked off with the blue safe relief mask tape there. Uh, I could cut around that by hand but the tape just saves a lot of time and energy. Uh, you can just kind of go ahead and apply, especially since I have to put two coats on, I'd have to cut in twice. So this gives me a good buffer and uh, be able to just put that coat on there pretty quickly. So even though I'm anxious to get started with the paint, uh, instead of taking the time to mask it off, it really is better just to take the time to mask it off, especially I got little areas like this. There's no way to cut that in with a brush without having some protection on there. So in the long run, it saves a lot of time even though it's a bit annoying <laughs> to take time out to do it in the first place. Very blustery day out today. Uh, I think it's the remnants of subtropical storm Alberta coming up out of the Gulf. Uh, it's been cloudy and rainy off and on all day. I love how like there's just, <laughs> I just love how there's just mist coming up out of the valley in certain spots over here. Just little clouds that form and just come up the hillside. Uh, it's just, it's just beautiful. And, uh, always changing, it's never the same. Well, the rain's uh, really coming down outside still. Yeah, there's some mosquitoes. Must have blown up from Florida. <laughs> and uh, got the painting done, the primer, excuse me, the primer on the wall there. So I got that done. And then this morning I got done the tile. I put tile in these window sills just in case water comes in, gives a little more resistance than wood. So I inset a piece of tile there instead of using wood on the top, uh, which I did this morning. Got all those done and the ones upstairs as well. So I really like that. I'm going to put a little silicone. Kind of silicone seal around the window there. But 
Well, the good thing about the rain is it came a little late today, so I got the tile stuff done this morning uh, before it's too rainy. But the other good thing is I've got rainwater coming now, so it comes off the roof here and into the rain buckets, which is nice for having water to clean off after doing the painting and stuff. So it works out good instead of me having to haul water up in the creek or uh, buy bottled water. So I'm liking that. All the water from the rain here is starting to wash under the, uh, got a little, little creek going in there underneath the cabin, which has done that before. And I've diverted some of the water away. I just need to get the hoe out here and divert this a little bit. So it'll go around the cabin. It's not a big deal. I mean, I've got rock and stuff under there, but still I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, do a little digging out here in the rain here and get that to go around the side here. Well, it's been raining most of the day. Uh, as you can see, uh, it's gonna be a cold shower tonight though, because there was no sun out today at all to warm up the water. I had it in the car, but it's still not gonna be enough to, um, didn't get it warmed up. But as you can see, I'm kind of out in the rain anyway, so uh, it's probably not gonna make a bit of difference. May 30th, birds are chirping, but the sun isn't shining. It's still, still raining off and on. Cloudy weather, uh, trying to finish up the last coat of paint inside. Before Still a little breezy out, real stony. But anyway, I want to take a quick video before I head back to Florida. Uh, progress here, for everybody. So here's the outside. Nothing's really changed there in a few months. Uh, go in here. You're just gonna have to kind of imagine things. I've got all my appliances and stuff here, and uh, cabinets and boxes. And so if I can get back here a little bit, want to kind of show the staircase. Going up. Okay, yeah, and I got ladders and everything still in the way, but uh, walls painted. And I'm gonna do the outlet and receptacles and stuff, but uh, getting there. Okay, I'm gonna walk back in here to the hall area. Again, that's where the washer dryer combo is gonna go in here. Installed a light right here, which I bought. I have. And the sink is in. Cabinet. And uh, shower faucet I've got too, but I've got to put that in still. So, oh, yeah, the shower floor. You've probably seen that. But, uh, I like it. Okay, real quick. And then the bedroom downstairs. And uh, yeah, I finally had to make some shelves here for all my junk on it. So, Taking up a lot of space in the room, but at least it's better than lying all over the floor. So, and then there, speaking of floor, there's my flooring. That's going to go down next. That's it for that one. We'll walk upstairs here. And yep, yeah, front view. Now. Real quick, and camera probably ran out of power. And there's my tent still. Still up, still sleeping in it. <laughs> Not sure why. Uh, I think it's pretty much done. That's a trend that I've got to get the carpet in. Well, it's time to say goodnight, everyone. Until next time. Hey, did you hear something? No, just the crickets and cicadas and frogs. <laughs> Why, did you think it might be Bigfoot again? Nah, I'm not falling for your tricks again. Yeah, go to sleep. <laughs> Bigfoot, that's ridiculous. Hey, I'm still hungry. I think I'm gonna get myself a granola bar.